Hi, it's Lynn from Lenny C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. And today I'm going to share some cards using little, very easy little pop-up cards. Um, they were projects for my August class and they kind of fold up to go into a standard C5 envelope for the UK. This was the first one I did and you can see I've personalised this with the best family ever for my brother. Uh, this was another option and that's so cute. Um, the curtains, the theatre curtains, were created with some of the dies. So this um, bundle, the Zamy, Zany Zoo bundle, comes with a stamp set and this coordinating die set. So you've got dies that cut out these characters here and then lots of extra bits. So balloons, a cloud, flowers, the bits to make a little curtain for a stage, trees, a little stool. Um, a little table and a plant pot and some flowers. I mean, it's you've the really the world is your oyster. So I'd seen these little pop up cards. Um, if you don't put too much dimension on here, they will actually close like that, so you can get a total surprise. Um, when they pop up and they stand flat like that put an extra bit of white card on the back and that's where you write your sentiment so I kind of was um, I'm going to demonstrate this size and then at the end I will share another card that I made because I always really like taking a design <coughs> excuse me I always like trying to scale things up or down or change the dimensions and kind of make them my own. So um, let me show you uh, the characters that I've used on these cards actually come from the um, Zoo Crew designer series paper. And it's fabulous. So. Uh, you've got the whole suite appears in the annual catalogue, pages 46 and 47. So you've got that. And I'll show you the papers because actually if you didn't want to buy the stamp set, um, these are very cute on their own. You get two sheets of six designs or double-sided. So you've got... Um, Cute characters, one side, the other side is black and white. Um, and these are all cut, uh, I mean, I don't want to use the black and white because I think the characters are so cute. So you've got dancing um, cuties. These are all outdoorsy um Binoculars, little birdie, piggy. I just think they're so cute. These are birthdays, so armadillo. And I love the fact that some of these are partially coloured and they leave you so that you can colour them, you know, whichever way you want to suit your project. And in fact, on this sheet here, I've done it on the other sheet, you can actually get an extra... Um, elephant out of um, I haven't done a brilliant job of uh, hiding that but actually if it was in the background of something very clever these are all sort of cycling scooters I love this on a pair of roller skates very cute I used Mr Fox for my brother's card the musical instrument you can have a band and then these are very cute sort of arty hobby type obviously cut out one of the llamas here but um, really lovely um, to use on projects say black and white designs on the back 
so uh, they are in the annual catalogue and I will put links uh, below to my blog and you'll be able to go to my online store as well to buy any of these things if you want to but basically and it's really really simple so ahead of time just so that you didn't need to see me I have die cut the, the images that I want to use and this is the cardstock. So I, again, I've gone for the same base. So this is pool party. And I'm in inches this time. So it's four and one eighth by 10 inches. Um, and then it is scored and I pre-scored it one and a quarter, two and a half. So basically every one and, um, inch and a quarter. So one and a half, two and a half three and three quarters, five, six and a quarter, seven and a half, and eight and three quarters. Um, you've got a, a, a coordinating or matching piece of card. Um, this is where you create your scene. So this one is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then I've got two bits of uh, basic white to get one to go either side of those and they measure two and a half by four and a half as i say i will put all the links in the description box below so that you can head to my blog and see um, all of the cards and uh, ha have a little bit more detail about these projects i've already die cut um, a little uh, banner and I need to think about um, what paper I'm going to use for these little panels. So let me just go and get that because I think I've put it away. So I'm going to use this sheet from the Bright and Beautiful because that then ties in with the trees. And let me get my trimmer. And I'm going to cut that down to um, so if it's four and one eighth wide, I'm going to cut that down to four and then. Um, It is one and a quarter, so one and one eighth. And I'm going to cut four of these panels. And if I cut um, anything that is uh, less than an inch and a half, I tend to do it on this side of our trimmer. We've got zero up to one and a half inches that side and I just find it's easier to control that so there's my four and on this piece I have scored I've reinforced all those score lines already um, and on the very middle one I have sliced it um, with my trimmer, so I have sliced it from, and I'll show you actually, because our trimmer has a measure, uh, it's got a ruler on this bit, so I've leveled that up with the 5 inch score and I know that that's there, and then I've gone from um, I've cut it from uh, five eighths, so you've got five eighths there, and I've cut it down to three and a half, which leaves five eighths that side. Ooh, obviously, you need a little bit of a trimmer there. Just take off any excess or fluffy bits. 
and then I found it easier just to trim off and make that a little bit wider and you just need to use your snips and just cut a whisker off where that um, where you've cut that hole it just makes that a little bit more defined now I'm going to put my um, designer series paper I'm going to put it on each of these panels so you want to put it either side. if you're going to do the top of your box so I'm doing the top and then I'm actually going to flip this over so I think that would be quite cute and then you get to see both sides I'm going to glue that down on those to just give those a bit of colour so let me see if I've got any glue in this ink in this oh yes I've got some glue sometimes I pick up one that's it's empty so this isn't a directional um, paper so I'm quite lucky I can just glue it on any which way obviously if there is a pattern and you want the pattern to run through it's just as well to leave these You just have to be a bit careful when you're adding them. That they're in the right direction. So if there's there's writing or a design or something. So. There we go. So that's that done. I can leave that off to one side for a minute. And I can work on my little design. So what I want to do is I want to um, colour in my lion. So I have got um, pumpkin pie and um, crumb cake here but I'm going to use the light the light pumpkin pie oh no it's a bit of artistic license that kind of goes in with the fire I'm just going to very quickly do that. What other colour I had? What have I done with that? I did have. Some wild wheat. love the fact that he's roasting marshmallows. I'm just going to come in here and blend in just a little bit of the daffodil delight to take away. Some of the oranges. 
I like that. And this is the Dark Daffodil Delight. Dark pumpkin pie there. And that's the thing with blends, you just add colour until you're happy with what you've got. So I'm quite happy with that, I think. I'm going to leave the marshmallows. Actually, we'll do crumb cake. Just to give that a little bit of colour. Toasting. And then we've got some spray. Do the stones there in the fire. There we go. Do I like that? Now I'm going to um do a little bit of blending on the background but um, this is light blue I'm not going to add any colour first I'm just going to see what we've got there and we've got absolutely nothing now, there's my pool party I've got my pool party packed because I've got a craft retreat coming up. I think this I said this I think I've said this before. I think this needs re-inking. It definitely does. There's a little bit of colour on there. But not very much. I'm playing with my blending brushes and some new decorative marks, masks that are in the um, new mini catalogue. So, happy with that. I am going to pop him there and I'm just going to pop those down on there. I'm going to make sure that there is enough glue on there because I do actually want him to be stuck nicely because there's a pop up uh, this panel potentially is popping up out of the card base I want to make sure that that's stuck and not going to um, chain not gonna pull what I'm also going to do and that's packed as well. I'm going to get the light pool party blend. I'm just going to kind of 
Let me know about that. That's better. I like that. There we go. So I'm just going to pop that on. my panel maybe I've cut that panel a little it's quite a big board around there I think maybe I might have to re-measure that but anyway that's plenty of room to write a message to someone on there and then we've got our card base and I, I've seen this in various ways but I like to pop that through there and you are sticking, hopefully you can see, you're wanting to stick or sandwich this between the base so for me I put a little bit on there you want it flush and straight in the center if you can there we go and then I'm going to add glue all across there, fold this bit down and hold that down and just rub it, make sure it's properly adhered together. Now you could, this would actually be quite nice, a happy holidays card. But there we go. How cute is that? So I used now which that's from the stylish shape styles. Love those. It has a lovely stitched edge around the die. So I'm going to use that and some Memento, black Memento, and yes, this is from, the sentiment is from Best Family Ever, I've got a lot of use out of that. Try to get that straight camera's in the middle but that'll do it's not homemade if it's not wonky eh and then that's really nice and I'm going to add that with dimensionals now this is I've obviously used all the mini dimensionals but I never throw the you can use the edging don't waste it Yeah, this card would be great for, you know, sort of like a camping weekend or happy holidays or what I just think it's really cute. So there is happy birthday. I'm not going to put any gems on and you can just manipulate it a little bit, hold it back and forward. But yes, I've got it stuck on nicely. Oh, a little bit there. It will fold flat, go in your envelope and then pop out. Or if you don't want to do that and you're sending it to a non-card maker, because let's face it, some of our friends and family who are card, not card makers don't know how to open or stand up some of our projects if they're fancy folds. I've had to give instructions before. Anyway, that's very cute. So that um, fits in a standard 
envelope and this is a slightly bigger one this fits again it's the um it's all cut out from the uh designer series paper i used the basic borders dies to create the grass and also the um clouds in the middle and that sits so that fits in a five by seven envelope and i've got a little character on the back there plenty of space to write a message so that's it and i can't share the other the larger card um but i will do on my socials and maybe do another um post later on when i've when when it, the, it's been received by the recipient and i can share it but i've done a one that a card this size that this style of card that fits in a um a c4 envelope so it's um half a sheet of a4 size envelope anyway hopefully you enjoyed that and i wasn't waffling too much thanks for joining me i will see you again really soon take care for now bye for now